Hi, I'm Barbara, and welcome to the Flint Fit Level 1 Arm Exercises. Let's go ahead and get started. For our first exercise, you're going to be using your cane. So go ahead and get it. If you don't have a cane, you can use a dowel also. I want you to rest it on your lap and hold both ends of it. And what we want to do is start moving it one side and the other. Nice and slow. Find out where your end point is on your affected side. Take it one side and then the other. Each time stretching out a little bit more and just rotate around. And you'll start to feel the lengthening in your arm and the stretch. Keep on doing this. When you have a stroke, there's an imbalance of the muscles. Some muscles are too tight and some are overstretched. So we're just trying to restore the balance. So let's do this exercise a couple more times. Rotate around, look behind you as far as you can and come on back. Take it as far on the other side. As soon as you reach to the other side, you're gonna feel a stretch all the way through. And that's important for lengthening everything in your arm. And turn it and look behind you. Okay, we're ready for the next exercise. Go ahead and put it on your affected side. Put both hands on it and now start to stretch out. You want to make sure that you have both feet planted on the floor, the distance apart of your shoulders, so you're balanced. So, what's new for this is you are now putting your weight on your affected side. And your brain needs that to recover. Every time you move your arm, you shift your weight to this side, or you touch your arm, you are sending signals to the brain. So keep on doing this exercise. Stretch it out, stretch it out, stretch it out, and come on back. It's just as important to bring it back as it is to stretch it out. Let's go again. Stretch it out, stretch it out. This is your end point. Go 10% more. Feel that all the way down your side. And one more time, stretch it out, stretch it out, and come on back. So, for the next exercise, we stay in this position, but now we're going to go in a circle away from the body. Pull it in, stretch it out, follow it around, bring it back. Make sure you're bending that elbow. We don't want you hiking up your shoulder. Let's try that. Push it out, bring it around, bring it all the way around, pull that elbow in, and come again. We're going to go a couple more times. Stretch it out, stretch it out, bring it around, bring that elbow in. One more time. Make this one your best. Stretch it out, stretch it out and bring it around. So, now for the next exercise, we're still going to keep it in this position, but we're just going out to the side. Trust your body. This is your weaker side. You're not used to putting weight on it, but trust it. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Come on back. Let's go again. Stretch it out, stretch it out, Stretch it out. Come on back. We'll do two more times. Stretch it out. Out. 10% more. And come on back. And this last time, we're going to get an additional stretch. So you take it all the way out to the side. And then look behind you. And that's how you can expand your stretch. Okay, we're ready for another exercise with the cane. Go ahead and take it on your lap. And well, this is our starting point. And let's try and push this affected side out away from your body and bring it up. 
It doesn't matter how far you can go up as long as it's pain free. So here we go. Right here, right here. Can you go further? Stretch it up, stretch it up. When you have a position down here and a diagonal, that's called a functional stretch. It gets the muscles that bend and the muscles that stretch. Here we go again. Stretch it up, stretch it up, up, and now turn, because now you're going to feel it all the way up here. If you have tightness in your arm and you can only come out this far, that's OK. We're going to go again. Stretch it up, stretch it up. Now, can you rest that cane on your hip? This is a fabulous stretch for you, if you can take it. And now, bring it back around and back to center. So now you can feel the stretch that goes all the way down. Hold it here. Shift your weight to the affected side. Notice how that changes it. The longer you hold the stretch, the better the results. Also, it's very important that you always stay in a pa pain-free range. So here we go again. It's out to the side, and you're going to rotate around. You're starting to see that rotation is very important in all stretches. And bring it back down and rest. You're doing a great job. And now we're going to move to another exercise over at the table. So go ahead and put that cane down and find a place where you can be at a table. And you notice there's a water bottle here. The first thing I want you to do is clasp your hands together. This water bottle becomes our target. So we're going to put our hands together, and here goes the exercise. Stretch out, stretch, and come on back. And when you come back, bring your shoulders back and down. It's just as important to come back as it is to go forward. Go again, stretch it out, out, out. The more you stretch, the better it is for your arm. So the next exercise, you can move this bottle over to the right, and you can stretch to the right. Now, if your stroke has affected your left side, when you stretch to the right, you're getting a bigger stretch all the way through your arm. OK, now nudge that bottle a little bit further away. Stretch and come back. Bring those shoulders down. Stretch again. Take it a little further and stretch. Now for the next exercise, let's take that bottle and put it on the other side. If this is your affected side, it means you have to shift your weight over there. And reach and come back. And reach and come back. In order for the brain to recover, it needs high repetition. So keep on stretching out further, further, and further. And now for the next exercise, let's take this same bottle and put our hands around it. And now we're going to go in a circle as far as we can, and we're going to balance out the weight on the right and then the left. Bring it around. And then we're going to reverse it and go the other way. Bring it around and around. And so now, let's change this exercise and do a figure eight. You go up, bring it down to the middle, bring it back up, bring it to the middle, and come back to the middle and reverse it. Bring it around. Bring it around. 
and your body likes this rhythm of one side and the other. Every time you look at your affected side, move it or touch it, it sends signals to the brain. And when you move your hands higher than your heart, it becomes an aerobic workout. So you really are getting not only a stretch, but a workout. So that's it for this workout. Great job, and we'll see you in the next video.